Hello and welcome to it and another lecture on control system. Myself Kotitora, Assistant Professor of Dr. Shudhir Chandra Shudhigri Engineering College, Electrical Engineering Department. So that we have already known that project signal flow graph and how we can easily find the transfer function between all the initial positions equal to zero from the signal flow graph. Today we will do the mathematical modeling of physical system and how we can easily obtain the transfer function and along with the modal analysis to find the transfer function of that mathematical system. So we have to find the this one is our mathematical system so we have to find the mathematical model of that physical system. So let's try it. So, this is our mathematical system. This is our spring. Or dashboard. And this is the mass M. So the entire system is known as spring, spring mass dashboard system or spring mass damper system. So this is our mass M and spring can be denoted as in this spring constraint that is k and dashboard is denoted by friction constraint called v and there is a force that is applied to the system is called f so this is generally known as spring so this is known as spring this is this is known as damper or the dashboard and it is called the spring it is called the damper or the dashboard This is called the dashboard or the damper system. And damper or the dashboard that is denoted. It is responsible for producing the frictional force. Responsible for producing the frictional force in the system. This is called the damper. And another is known as mass. This is the mass that is denoted by the M. And mass is responsible for producing the inertia force. It is responsible for producing the inertial force or the inertia force. Inertial force, which is mass. And another is called the Spring. This is known as spring, and the K is the spring constant, where V is the dashboard or the damper constant. So we all know about the spring. That spring is responsible for producing the restraining force. It is producing the Restraining force. So this is known to us. So if I draw the
free body diagram that is called if D of that particular mass. So if I draw the free body diagram of that particular mass, so we will see that if I draw the free body diagram of the particular mass M, we will see that if a force is given, there is a displacement will be occurred in the system and spin and the dashboard and along with the initial force will try to bring back the mass into its initial position. When a force F is applied, it, it will move the mass in that direction, direction of the applied force, but there is an inertial force and the dashboard or the damper force and the spring force which is trying to bring back the mass to its initial position. So it is clearly suggested that in that in case of the total system is known as spring mass as the damper of the dashboard system in case of the spring mass damper of the dashboard system a force that is applied in favor of the displacement of the mass this is called the f and three forces that is acting as the opposition to the direction of the motion of the force it is generally known as the first one which is called the inertial force and this is called fi and another force is known as force due to the friction and this is known as f d the damper force and third one that is the force due to the displacement it is known as spring force the force due to the displacement that is the spring force so according to the d alambar spring principle according to the we all know that the, according to the d Lambert's principle is given that summation of all the force that is forces summation of all the forces that is forces acting in favor of the motion or the forces that is acting opposite to the direction of the motion I mean summation of the, all the forces are equal to zero in order to bring back the mass to its initial conditions. So, if I take a displacement of the mass is x, the mass is displaced by an amount x. So, the force F is, there is a force due to the spring, this is called the restraining force is directly proportional to the displacement x. So, if I omit the displacement, a proportionality constant, a constant that is arrived that is called spring constant so it is is equal to kx our second one is the damper force of the spring due to the friction or the force due to the friction and it is directly proportional to the velocity velocity means first order derivative of the displacement that is dgt of x so in order to omit the proportionality constant, we are taking a constant that is called the damper or the dashboard that is called the D, so if D equal to that one, the frictional force or the damper force is equal to into DDT of x directly proportional to the velocity. The third one is the inertial constant, uh, uh, inertial force that is the force that is due to the move inertia directly proportional to the acceleration of the system that is the second order derivative of Where of x. So 
if I omit the displacement uh, proportionality constant, we are getting the mass change. So this is m into d2h plus dt square. So this is the inertia. So the force inertia equal to m into d two x by d t square. So k is the spring constant, d is the dashboard of the damper constant, and m is the constant of inertial force. of a mechanical system. So, now, according to the DL numbers theorem, that the forces, I mean, of all the forces are zero. The force which are acting in favor of the motion and the force which is acting in opposite to the direction of the motion. So this is called the force due to the inertial force, force due to the damper, and force due to the velocity or the spring force. These three force are acting in opposite to the direction of the motion of the mass displacement, and F is acting in favor of the motion of the In favor of the motion of the mass. So it is written as m equal to m into d2f by dt square plus fd equal to dx dt and f is equal to a into x. Now we are trying to find the transfer function. Transfer function means it is the output by input. So here output is the in the Laplace domain. So transfer function can be at all the initial conditions are zero so there is no initial conditions in the laplace domain it is the output by input so here output is the displacement xs and input is the force that is fs we are given a force to a mass m and there is a dip displacement upper is x so output is the transfer function can be written as output by input in the Laplace domain keeping all the initial conditions equal to zero. Now I am taking the Laplace. Now I am taking the Laplace. Laplace means keeping all the initial conditions equal to zero. So F became Fs. So there is a keeping all the initial conditions at zero we do not have to think about the initial conditions. So m d2s ds square can be written in terms of Laplace is a square m. So b can be written as s into b. A into xs. term first order only first one derivative is there so the power of the s will be there is a only first order derivative so power of the s will be one s yes, and the second order derivative so power of the s will be s square and the k remain k and x will be one as x so if s 
can be written as taking excess it will be written as m square plus b s plus k So, just to make the comparison, by just writing this day as small that we have done, so that it can be easily understood. So, this B that is written in small, so it will be the smaller one, smaller case. So, excess by Fs can be written as that is the transfer function of that system. Output the displacement input is the force between all the initial conditions equal to 0. Can be written as 1 by this is the transfer function of the system in S square plus Bs. This is the transfer function of the system keeping all the initial conditions. This is the mathematical modeling of a physical or a say a mechanical system. You can easily find the transfer function. And we are also seeing that this is the second order system because highest power of the case in the denominator is 2. So this is generally implied as a second order system. So the highest power of the S in denominator is 2. This is can be applied as a second order system. So this is the mathematical modeling of a physical system or say a mechanical system. So now we will do the nodal analysis. We will do the nodal analysis. So we will do a nodal method, means the nodal analysis in order to, means we have to find the nodes. This is called the nodal method of finding tensor function. So we have to do the nodal method of finding tensor function. So let's take a system like that. There's the mass, there's this is called the rigid body. And the force is applied to the system here. And the displacement of the mass is offered. In terms of x. There is a dashboard is there in the system. And there is screen there in the system called k. So you have to go for the nodal analysis. So, nodal analysis means how many nodes we will consider. So, for the nodal method, number of nodes, it is clearly you have to remember that thing that the number of nodes, how many number of nodes equal to number of displacement. So, the, if there are two displacement, there are two nodes. If there is single displacement, there are single node. Displaced. So number of displacement here is one, that is the x. 
so this is only one node is sufficient this is called the node and this is called the reference this is known as reference node means this reference we have to give it is called reference so only one node is there because only one displacement is there in this system x so now it is seen that between that node how we can draw the node analysis so there is a mass is there in the system it is draw the mass between that node and the and that is the force is there so draw the force is there this is called in by pf and there is the dashboard is there so let's draw the dashboard it is written as and the spring is there. So write down the spring. This K. This is the construction of nodes. So how many nodes are there? Number of displacement equal to number of nodes. Now this is called the node one. So if I draw the equation at the node one. So at a node one, I draw the equation at the node one. So how you can write the equation? So the force that is acting in favor of the motion will be equal to the force that are acting opposite to the direction of the motion that we have just done, which is d2x by dt square. Plus d into this force, which is called the force of damper or the frictional and is directly proportional to the velocity. And the first force is known as the inertial force, is directly proportional to the acceleration. And third one is the spin constant. So, again, putting the Laplace, which is getting F is equal to just putting the Laplace in the same way, keeping all the initial conditions equal to zero. We can easily found the transfer function of that system using the nodal analysis conception. Using the nodal analysis conception. Plus into B into Xs plus K into Xs. So from that particular system, you can easily find that the transfer function that is x is by f is using the conception of the nodal analysis can be done. So the transfer function of the system, the mechanical system, can be written as 1 by is the output is the displacement and input is the force and s squared m plus s b plus k so it is clearly found that the the second order system because how it's part of the AC is two in the denominator. So this is the way we can find the nodal method or nodal method analysis to calculate the transfer tension. Okay, so nodal method analysis is given on a particular mechanical system and it is the corresponding nodal analysis of the system. From there we are approaching to the transfer function of that system. So number of nodes equal to number of displacement. So today we have learned about the mathematical modeling of the physical system, a mechanical system that is called the spin mass of the dashboard system. 
and also in a, a kind of transfer function of the system. And also we have course to one modal method. So number of nodes equal to number of displacement and also find the transfer function from that modal method. Thank you.